think we are live here. Good morning. Good morning. Hello and welcome back. Uh, today is a two, oh wait, Wednesday, guys. Uh, August 1st. August 1st, folks. So this is the first video of the month. Okay, first video of the month. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great morning. I know some of you are in a different time zone. Could be good evening as well. So anyway, so this morning, let's talk about Turin. DF64V uh, from uh, Espresso Outlet. Espresso Outlet is the one uh, kind of like exclusively handled North America. I'm going to big shout out to Joe. Hopefully Joe us usually join us on, on our morning live streaming, but uh, if he, he pop in, ask him about this grinder, okay? Okay, so this is, you know what, hopefully I can show you guys close look, okay? So this is a very interesting grinder. Okay. So this think of it as DF64. DF64 uh, people love for last couple years. And this one has a available speed. Okay. 600 RPM all the way up to 1800 RPM. Okay. Just keep spinning as you can see, but stop at 1800, go opposite direction, go to 600 RPM. Now let's talk about that RPM for a second. Okay. 1800 RPM is pretty high. And then go all the way down to 1600. So it's about 1200 RPM different there. So why you need that RPM change? So personally, if I'm using like uh, filter coffee, you know, I want to grind in lower RPM. Okay. Because you do not want to heat up the coffee beans really, you know, you, you don't want to heat it up. All right. So sometimes uh, uh, whenever I use like, kind of like lighter roast, I go a little lower RPM for filter coffee. Comes to espresso, you know what? I just set it like 1200 RPM there. Okay, 12, sometimes 18 doesn't matter. Okay, 18, 12. So, but just make sure play with it. So this morning I'm gonna show you guys a two different workflow, okay? Workflow from Bravo Machine, all right? And the workflow from uh, DF64V, all right? Here's the thing about the Bravo Machine. I mean, if you are watching my videos, most likely you guys have Bravo Machine at home, okay? Most likely you have Bravo Machine at home. So I know some of you out there are thinking about upgrading your built-in grinder, okay? So this is a 40 millimeter conical or coffee grinder from built-in. You know, I mean, that's great for espresso, but uh, if you are thinking about doing some like, you know, lighter roast or you wanna try to play with, you know, different profile perhaps, okay? Different roast, specialty coffee. Works great on medium to dark roast, uh, medium roast, especially on uh, built-in grinder, great. But comes to lighter roast, okay? So this one is a DiMello coffee. It's really light roast. Uh, let's take a, uh, take a look at the tasting notes. Uh, let's see here. Tasting note is papaya and blood orange. So it's very fruity, very light. So let's pour the shots, okay, each. And then you get to see it. You get to see the workflow there. Uh, by the way, if you're joining us from, uh, for the first time, welcome to live streaming. Okay, I got some few people on this morning uh, joining the live chat there. So I'm, I'm gonna go over the live chat later, okay? Once I finish my presentation, okay? Presentation there. So uh, so let me show you the, you know what? Uh, let's give you the overview on the DF60. If you haven't seen it yet, okay? Uh, this grinder is pretty slick, all right? Uh, magnetic shoots, so you can actually clean pretty easy. And you can uh, remove the top as well. Okay. Uh, if I were you, if you're planning on getting the DF64V, get the gray or black, okay? Silver, I, I don't know, it's not a good color, okay, personally. I know some people like silver, but I'm not a big fan of silver there, so yeah. Yeah. I want gray or black, okay? So gray or black, I think it looks much better. All right, but it's all, all depend on your taste, right? Okay, and then uh, let me show you the workflow from 
your rubber machines. It's so easy, isn't it? I mean, goodness, that's one thing uh, I love about rubber machine, okay? Only thing you need is a 3D dosing funnel. That's it. All right. I already put the 18 grams in here already. Just pop it in. You hear the sound? Little struggle. Okay. Because it's a light roast. Struggling. I'm just gonna stop it. Get the, all, the all the coffee grinds are out. Okay. As you can see there, it's very light. All right. Uh, let's do a quick WDT. All right. Because the lighter roasts are so dense, I mean, it needs more power to grind it. Okay, it needs more power to grind it. Hopefully, I'm gonna show you guys the workflow here. And workflow is pretty seamless. That's 18 gram. Okay, just barely cover the top. I'm just gonna temp it. Okay, I'm not gonna even bother to distribute here. Just temp. Look at all the space between. I use my puck screen. Okay. All right, and let's do the first shot of the day here. Okay. You know what? Hold on a second. Maybe I can show you guys a better view here. Hold on, let me flip the camera for a second. Okay, here we go. Uh, if you're curious about the grind size, I'm setting a grind size number 13 for the grind size on my rubber machine. Uh, I got 18 gram in, let's do one to two ratio. I'm gonna think the manual mode. Okay, manual mode means I'm just gonna hold down for like three seconds. Three or five seconds, doesn't matter. You are getting the pre-infusion. Just let go, okay? That's a pretty fast shot there. I'm gonna stop at like 45 gram. This 15 second shot, okay? So I have to go, I need to change my grind size even more to maybe like, I don't know, 10? Nine, yeah, but it's all right. Okay, we're gonna try that shot first. And then let me, because I'm trying to, to show you guys the workflow, okay? I'm not trying to dial it in right now. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna dial it in the espresso. So that's not the point of this video, because I wanna show you, it's gonna be a good fit or not, okay? As you saw, the rubber machine was a struggle. Okay, the built-in grinder was a little struggle there, kind of like, you know, it wasn't like, if there was a darker roast, medium roast, piece of cake, right? Just go right through it. But especially this dense light roast, yeah, it, you know, has some work to do. But we're gonna try the shot anyway. Okay, still bright. You know, a little under extracted. Did I say a little? It's a little under extracted there. I can still taste it. Blood orange, definitely. You know, a little, little bright, okay? Bright means a lot of acidity there, so still good, okay? If I'm gonna put some hot water in it, it'd be perfect Americana. All right, so uh, let's try the DF64V, okay? Okay, DF64V. All right, so let's play it with, it comes to workflow-wise, The F64 comes with this, uh, that comes with a standard 58 millimeter dosing cup, okay? Unfortunately, we have 54 millimeter, okay? So it's not gonna fit properly. So uh, if you guys want to, you can get a dosing cup from Amazon, okay? Pretty inexpensive. Uh, this one happened to be the Crema dosing cup there as well, 54 millimeter fits right into your pore filter. So, I mean, that's what I've been using here, okay? All right. 
Uh, let's talk about static, okay, uh, which means RDT. RDT means rust droplet technique. Put a little bit of water drops on your coffee beans before you grind your coffee, okay. I never do RDT on my rubber machine, so I'm not going to do that here either, okay. And then, so this is a little lighter roast. I'm going to change my RPM, right? So let me show you. Let me show you the workflow. So, I mean, this is the key, okay. I mean, this is the reason you guys are watching this video. I'm trying to show you how much you have to add to your workflow to use your coffee. Right now, I'm, I'm, it's a 1500 RPM right now. Let's get it. Maybe I can zoom it. Can I zoom this? Hold on a second. There we go. Right now, we are at 1500 RPM. So this is, this is the lighter roast. All, uh, six is the lowest. So maybe I do 800 RPM there. Okay, let's do 800 RPM. That, that's pretty low. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the coffee grinder here. Uh, very quiet though. Can you guys hear that? Very quiet machine. Again, no RDT. You heard a very high pitch noise because it's the lighter roast. Okay. I'm just gonna tap it a few times on the top. Uh, by the way, this one comes with a bellow, okay? You know, rubber bellow there, but personally, I don't like using bellow. I just like to tap it. It looks ugly too. You know what I, mean? I mean, I really like the look of this. Okay, at this point, I'm gonna show you how much static is gonna be there. Okay, no static on the top. You got some little bit of static there, so you know, use brush. That's it. Not a whole lot. So, so this is the without the RDT. Okay, pretty quiet. Got a pretty quiet coffee grinder. Okay, so let's, uh, got a dummy shot here. Fits right there. Uh, fits pretty good to the side. It's not that big. Right here we go. I'm just gonna. Since this is a 54 millimeter dosing cup, man. Hold on a second, guys. This is what happens when we do live streaming, right? You never know what's gonna happen. Okay. I'm just gonna. Let's not waste this great coffee here. Let's not waste that. Okay. I'm just going to reuse it. I'm just going to scoop it. All right. I'm just going to scoop. This is what happens when we are doing the live streaming. You never know what's going to happen. Okay. It's all right. Life goes on. Okay, we're gonna try it one more time. Okay, I think it's gonna be close enough. For this one, I'm gonna do some WDT, okay? So we have a lot of crumbs there. We have a lot of crumbs. Uh, this, I'm just gonna break it out. Okay, it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna temp it just like one before. I'm gonna put my puck screen on the top. Okay, let's pull the shot here, folks. Let's pull some shot. Okay, we're gonna do the exact same thing. All right. I'm gonna do about three seconds pre-infusion. Hold it down, just let go. Shots coming down. Uh, looks a lot better than before. 
if you ask me. Looks pretty good there. Now let's run for like 45 gram. 23 seconds at 48 gram. I think that shot looks pretty good. If you, yeah, that's a really good shot. Okay. That's a really good shot there. So let's try that coffee. But if you're joining us for the first time, oh, welcome to the live streaming here, folks. You never know what's going to happen, all right? I mean, if I was making edited video, guess what? I'm just going to cut that part out, okay? Unfortunately, uh, we are doing the live show here, so we just keep going. Here you go. Cheers. I'm just going to stir it first. Yeah. Let's stir it first. So it uh, comes to uh, DF64V, uh, stock board is called, it's called DLC, DC or DLC, it's called Diamond Cut, okay? I think it's, a, it's Diamond Cut. So it's not the stock uh, it, uh, Italian meal burst. Uh, I think I feel like they're a little better than uh, regular Italian meal burst there. This, the Diamond Cut birds are, they're pretty decent, okay? They're pretty decent there. Here we go. Happy August 1st. Yeah, or smooth, balanced shot. It's a better shot anyway. Okay, it's a much better shot. But the thing about the flat, especially 64 millimeter, has a lot of space to cut it. Uh, give you more, kind of like the better separation, okay, of the cut and a better separation of the uh, tasting as well. Yeah, and then very nice finishing notes. I can taste the blood orange. Sometimes it is tingly on your tongue there. Very vibrant. You are eating like you know hard candy, you know, kind of like hard candy there. Yeah, one of those hard candy I love. Kind of like Jolly Ranch. Tingly. Uh, I'm gonna uh, shout out to Mr. Rainbow for the super sticker. Yeah. My biggest supporter. Yeah, I think we have a couple. Uh, uh, generous supporter in our channel there so yeah and uh, Mr. Rainbow is one of them yeah it's good okay but as you saw the workflow right you saw the workflow I mean imagine if you don't have 54 millimeter dosing cup okay which means you have to use something else so uh, so having a 54 millimeter dosing cup definitely helps. Okay, definitely helps there. Uh, comes to workflow wise. And then as you see from here, uh, they're small enough to fit, you know, any kitchen counter, okay, right next to your machine, All right? So, I mean, that's a nice touch for that. And I mean, so if you're, let's say, you know, your family likes, to, your family, that just wants to enjoy the black coffee in the morning, you could just use the conical. Maybe yourself, you want to try something special to coffee, right? Like light roast, okay? Have like, you know, separate grinder for that as well. So you have, now you have options, okay? So now you can do filter coffee too. You can, now you can do filter coffee as well, pour over, okay? Uh, you cannot do pour over on built-in grinder. It's only good for espresso, maybe AeroPress, Maybe mocha pot, not much. Okay, not a whole lot of options. So, uh, if you are getting into coffee more, I mean, you definitely want to, you know, upgrade your coffee grinder, right? You don't have to buy a new machine, okay? Don't worry about buying a new machine. Your problem machines are capable, okay? Just fine, okay? I mean, we're not looking for, you know, perfect coffee here. We are, we are looking for something good coffee. So, uh, having an additional grinder definitely helps. So yeah, uh, uh, price, let's talk price. Uh, DF64 this morning, I was looking at uh, uh, Joe's website this morning. Hold on a second here. Uh, Barrett said, it's not a diamond cut. It's the carbon coating with a diamond-like hardness. Yeah, that, that's what I say, but this I say diamond cut. Did I say diamond cut? Yeah. So it's called diamond 
like harness. Okay. Okay. So harness extremely low coefficient. Yeah. The Barrett is using a very high level language there. Okay. Shout out to Barrett from Polar Keeper. Yeah. So it's not a diamond cut. Okay. Diamond like harness. Okay, hold on a second. So Barrett is obviously biased toward to, uh, DF. He is a big time DF fanboy and also uh, working for Espresso Outlet as well. So, yeah, and that's fine. But Joe is on the live chat right now. Okay, shout out to Big Joe. Yeah, okay. Shout out to Joe. Joe is the owner of Espresso Outlet. So, if you have any question about DF, Ask him, okay, ask Joe about that as well. So uh, I checked out the price this morning and uh, I don't know why Joe does it. He said was 900 bucks, now $600, okay. Was and now. I mean, nobody gonna pay $900 for this, Joe. But now 600 bucks, okay. That's really good price there, okay. Price is fantastic. So 600 bucks. And then uh, comes with, I mean, if, you're, if you have an espresso machine, you know, bravo machine, uh, it definitely you might want to switch out the dosing cup to 54 millimeter because the 58 is like, like standard, okay? Everybody uses a standard, so 54. Okay, so hold on a second. We have some people joining us. We have someone from, I don't know, I'm planning, on, I'm planning to invest in such grinder, do you know if you uh, find Turkish coffee? Yeah, you know what? Uh, since DF, you know, all the DF grinders are stepless grinder. And uh, especially these birds, I think it can go really fine, okay? Yeah, you can go really, really fine there. So I, I bet you can do Turkish coffee. Okay, hold on. And the DK say, is that a synthetic diamond? No, it's not a synthetic diamond. Okay, diamond like carbon. You know, just the coating, they're, they're a pretty nice coating. Yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah, we have some people on this morning. We have all the regulars on this morning. Okay. There we go. Whole bunch of people on the, our live chat there. Jesse, uh, DF, uh, DF is, V is amazing. Way better than original DF64. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Also, we have a... Uh, Bruce is joining us as well. Clickers, Oren, Jesse, Marvin. Shout out to Marvin from Singapore. I think Marvin from Singapore, Indonesia or somewhere. Marvin has a pretty nice machine set up though. Okay. Okay, Joe said had a 900 template before, yeah. Anyway, so, so it's, with this comes to 64 millimeter. Okay, so now you have a couple options, okay. And then, so, so we have DF, everybody loves, and also we have a competitor, right? So we have a niche, zero, okay? The niche zero, they lowered the price recently. So it's about the same price now, okay? So now Joe has good competition, okay? So, so we have a niche for around 500, uh, around 570, okay, $570 there. But you gotta pay shipping from somewhere. You got you gotta shipping. The shipping charge should be around 100 bucks. So that's pushed total to like 650. Okay, 650 for the niche zero. So niche, niche zero is a 63 millimeter conical burst. So now niche uh, DF64 V is variable speed, 64 millimeter flat. And then you have a lot of burr options. Okay. You can go with the SSP, has a whole line of 64 millimeter set up there. So that's something you have to decide, okay? If you have something, if you are decide to which grinder you want to, because we only have a limited space, right? We have a limited space and limited money, you know, limited budget, okay? I mean, if you have all the money in the world, sure, get both, right? DF64V and Niche. Okay, so now you have a nice conical, nice flat. But now you have to pick one, okay? Let me know in the comment section there. What do you guys want to pick, all right? 
We got uh, about 49 people watching right now this morning. Yeah, what? Uh, just let me know on the live chat there. You guys want to go with a niche or you guys going to go with the DF64V? How about the same price? Actually, uh, DF64V is a little cheaper. About I, I say about $50 cheaper there. But, you know, I mean, in terms of price, let's, uh, let's say the same price. Okay. You want to go with a V or niche? You know, let me know. Okay. Based on you have a uh, uh, rubber machine at home. Okay. You have a rubber machine. If you are watching my channel, most likely you have a rubber machine. So if you have, let's say if you have rubber express, rubber Mr. express or a pro. Remind you, you have a conical birds here already. Okay. You already have a conical birds. So, so you want to you go with a large conical or you want to go with something different. Right, something different there. So, so I mean that's the I mean that's the people ask me all the time. Hun, which one is better? Right, hold on. And the porter keeper say, DF eighty three is a fantastic option as well. So I mean if you wanna go large, right? If you wanna go large, DF eighty three, sure. But I mean most of us having. DF, DF83 is like twice bigger than DF64V, okay? I mean, if you are living by yourself, all right? I don't think my wife is going to let me bring DF83 here at my house, okay? Yeah, I don't think so. But if you are living by yourself, that's a different story, okay? Because you can get whatever you want, all right? So... Hold on a second, let's see here. Let's see what people say about. Okay, I must say, uh, yep, uh, we have a DF64V. Yep, we have Mr. Rainbow V. Marvin say, okay, I choose a Hoon with the beer. Uh, yep, I mean, I, I don't think so, buddy. Ken say V. The Iron Man, uh, Iron Man ordered the DF-83 as well, version 2. Joe asked me, Hun, do you have any ice strip equipment? No, I do not. Okay, I do not have any ice strip equipment yet. Yeah. Okay, we have a Eureka Minion. How about the Eureka Minion? Here, I, I feel like the Eureka, okay? I don't know about you guys, the Eureka has been... If you go to Eureka website, you're going to see a whole lot of coffee grinders. We are talking about, I don't know, I, can't, I, I lost count how many uh, grinders they have. They have a lot. They have a quite a few. They haven't done much though, okay, over the years. You know, they're, if you're into, you know, Italian classic grinder, right? Medium to dark roast. I mean, they're fantastic, okay? They're a great grinder for that. But if you want to go uh, something different, uh, specialty coffee, you know, I mean, I know you guys call it as a third wave coffee there. I mean, you want something large, you know, nice flat, okay, large flat, even nice. You have an option to kind of like switch around, okay? Because Eureka has a very unique size bird size. So if you're a coffee hobbyist, okay, uh, I look elsewhere. Or if you're a coffee hobbyist, but I mean, if you are into just you know just one types of coffee, okay, Eureka, the Minion Zero, all right, uh, they have a lot of cheaper version as well. You, you know, it might be good options, but I mean, they haven't done much over the last what 20 years, 30 years, yeah, seems the same to me. Okay, but I mean, I am because I had a big hope for Eureka Minion Zero. Okay, I think some of you saw that on my channel way back when. Initially, they came out, the promise, you know, consumer, they're really low price, okay? Low price, you know, but ended up in like 550 bucks. I was hoping for under 400, but yeah. But anyway, so I mean, again, I mean, if we, but the thing about the Eureka, this sold worldwide as well. I bet you easier to get it some parts of the world, but yeah. Again, it's, it's not a bad option uh, if you are into... You know, medium to dark roast, um, that's pretty good, okay? Just make sure you get the right price, okay? Make sure you get the right price. 
we have someone, someone say, hold on. Someone say about the Sate 270. Uh, we have a ID, IDB5. Sate 270. You know what? The, the Sate used to be fantastic. Okay. Uh, what, five years ago? Three, three four years ago? I mean, that, that's the only option at the time, right? So we got the DF comes up. So take their market away, in a way. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, they're, they're extremely loud, all right? You think my Bravo machine is loud. Sate is really loud. So, I mean, DF, DF83, uh, even 64. You guys hear it? I just turn on the coffee grinder. You barely hear the sound, okay? Barely hear the sound. Uh, so, comes to quiet, yeah. I mean, I do want to compare that with uh, DF64 V and my uh, uh, timer sculptor O64S. They are both 64 millimeter flat birds, but I do want to compare it with a low RPM with a light roast, okay? Because I know DF64 V has no problem grind low RPM with a light roast. I have not tried with. Uh, my O64S yet because because the O64S is a little smaller than this one so I'm curious about the, the power the motor okay so maybe we're gonna do that sometime this week as well we're gonna do some couple of different comparisons so uh, you know what the, the coffee's been cooled down for a while so let's try one more time here yeah that's good I felt like this coffee Coffee's old too, but having a, the nice flat burr grinder kind of brings to the life here. So this one, I think the roasted date, I'm not sure when. I know for a fact it's more than three months old. Okay, I know for a fact it's more than three months. Hold on, I'm gonna take a look at the one last time for the our live chat comments. Okay, let's see here. Photo keeper say uh, minion, yeah, fifty, yeah, fifty to fifty-five millimeter for five hundred bucks. Yeah, it is, uh, it is a little pricey. We have an N Yang. Okay, we have an N Yang. Say is a flat better than conical, or depend on the brewing method. Um, here, here's the thing about the. Uh, Conical versus flat, okay. Uh, there's no, it's not about which one is better. It's different, okay. It's a completely different, uh, completely different birth, okay. So it's not like, you know, I mean, do you, wanna, do you like, you're asking, do you like a Ferrari versus Lamborghini, right? Or, yeah, something like that. I mean, they're both great birds. It's, but, you know, it depends on your taste. Okay, you like GM or you like Ford. Same thing. Okay. But it's going to be completely different there. I mean, get the job done. Okay. You're going to get the job done. So, and uh, with the flat birds, you have a lot more options. Yeah, it's, it's, so, so here's what I can say to you. Especially 64 millimeter. Okay. You have a lot more options options than uh, conical birds. Conical birds, you may you only have a, maybe one option. That's it. Niche zero, you only have a one bird. Done. Okay. And then with a flat bird, 64 millimeter, you have goodness five six different types of birds. Quite a bit. You can go with the MP, HU, cast. Uh, even uh, you have diamond cut style birds at a different coating, Italian meal, mother birds, 64 millimeter. So yeah, uh, is it 64 mother? I'm not quite sure, but I think so. Yeah, I think uh, mother makes 64 too. So you have a lot more options with a 64 millimeter. Again, you have options, all right? That doesn't mean you are going to go out there, switch out all the time. You have options. With a conical, it, it does not give you that option. So. 
and pretty much you have to decide. Okay, you have to decide which bird you prefer. Okay, so try both. Okay, I mean, if you go to most coffee shops out there, they have, most likely you have both. Uh, they have a, both birds anyway. Just have them make you, you know, two cups with one flat and one conical. Or most likely one of your friend has one. Ask him. Okay, hey, what's the difference? Try yourself. Okay, it doesn't matter how much time, how many times I have to say you, say it to you guys. They're different, but once you try for yourself, yeah, it, it is a little hard. Okay, it is a little hard. Okay. Okay, what else? Michael say, is it worth buying a DF64 V for your Brista uh, Express if you tended to getting? Okay, if you tended to getting ECM or Bianca year, year or so, or better to say for Lagon. Okay. Lagon P64. Okay, let's put it this way, Michael. Lagon P64, you are looking at 1800 bucks. Okay, depend on the birds. All right. Uh, I think the Meisen birds is a part of it. So if you're happy with the Meisen bird, okay, you are looking at 1700 bucks, 17, 1800 dollars there. And if you wanna go with MP birds, you have to buy that separately. That's another couple hundred bucks. So let's say 2000, okay. DF64B, you are looking at what, 600 bucks. Okay, it's about $1,200 more. I mean, that's a lot, a lot more money. Same birds, right? Same 64 millimeter, okay. Uh, so Bianca set you back about 3,500 bucks, right? Depend on the sales price. Uh, you can go with the Bianca version 2, V2. Uh, if you can get one around 25, right? 25, 2600 bucks there. ECM, Synchronica. Goodness, uh, get a brand new one, latest model, over three grand, 35. So it's all dependent on what you want. And for 600 bucks, I mean, if, I mean, if money is not an issue, okay, if money is not an issue for you, I go with the Lagon. P64 optional. They are fantastic, fantastic coffee grinder. Okay, I have, I have it. They're great. All right, fun to use. But if you don't have that kind of budget, if you if you're looking for the similar look and feels to it, okay, DF64 V did pretty good job. Okay, I don't want to say copy it. They got inspired by P64, okay? They are inspired by P64. So, I mean, it does a pretty good job there. Uh, only thing I'm gonna change that one is, I'm not a big fan of silver color, Joe, but uh, gray or black should be really very nice. So, if, if I were you go with the black or gray, silver, I mean, maybe some people like silver, right? So, yeah. So, that's my recommendation, Michael. Okay, if, you, if money is not an issue, right? Money is not an issue for you. Okay, get the P64, okay? Something cool. And go with uh, uh, Bianca, get a matted black. Yeah, do that, okay? Do the matted black with the Bianca. I, last time I checked, it's about 35. Uh, go with the P64, get a two birds, MP birds and Meisen birds. Okay, so you are looking at another couple hundred bucks. So, so you are looking at well, around 5,500 bucks right there. I think that's pretty good setup, Michael. I mean, that's kind of like, you could say that's uh, end game setup. I, I think you should, you should be fine. And yeah, you could spend money so easy on coffee gears. Now you're gonna looking for a nice port uh, port filter. Okay, and the nice tools with that. And if you want to set it up properly, and you can hang these plastic things right here. Okay, actually, uh, actually Barrett from Porter Keeper having sale on the, his website there. So you can actually hang all your coffee gears as well. So you have options, okay. You can make your, if money is not an issue, you can make sweet, sweet setup on your kitchen. Okay, 
Just make sure you have the space to do it. All right. Space to do it. Let's see here. We have Dile is also joining us as well. Dile from Espresso. Home Espresso Bar. I said, I love my DF6. Of course you love your DF. Yeah, of course you love your DF. Okay. Anyway. Uh, what else? I think we are, we've been just, again, if you are joining us for the first time, that's what we do every single day here in this channel, okay? We just kind of like kick back, hanging out, make some coffee, we talk coffee, and we do some uh, answer questions for you guys. Yeah. Hold on a second here. And then again, we, you know, we just hang out here. That's all. Make some coffee. And then we have uh, the, the reason why a couple of guys love DF because they work for Joe. Okay. We have uh, Dylan and Barrett and Joe is all here from Espresso Outlet Tim. Oh yeah, that's great. And uh, anyway, so if you have any question about that, check out uh, their website, Espresso Outlet. I mean, Joe has huge selections and yeah, he's been good. Okay, uh, he, and if you have any issues, go to him directly. All right. Let's see here. We have a uh, Dillis. Okay. No, okay. So yeah, Mar shout out to Marvin. Marvin, it's been a while, buddy. Okay. It's been a while. Talking about nice setup. Marvin has the Rocket R50. No, R9, right? It's R91. Something like that. Marvin has a, a R91. It's like $8,000 coffee machine at home. He loves the conical, so conical bar. So he has like Weber and key grinder. And he has a whole bunch. Yeah, he, Ma Marvin has a fantastic setup. Yeah, pretty amazing. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, that's again, money is not an issue for you. Okay. It's all about money, right? If money is not an issue, I mean, you are going to have an amazing setup, okay? If money is an issue, I mean, that's the, so that's the hard part, right? If money is an issue, what's the best bang for the buck, okay? Comes to machine-wise, I go with the Bravo machine, okay, for the bang for the buck. Uh, comes to good entry-level grinder. Now you have to make some choices, okay? Before was the DF, okay? Okay, like place like Espresso Outlet, you know, pushing that really budget, friendly price grinder, okay? But now we have new players coming in town, right? Timer, 064S, we have 078, all about the same price range. You got timers coming, uh, coming out strongly. Who else? Uh, Pretty much it, right? We have a uh, entry level. We got the fellow, and you know, we got the Bratza. Yeah, and like two hundred dollar grinder as well. But I mean, they're hard to compare. I mean, that's kind of like, you know, really entry level. So kind of like mid range. We got Timor and Turin. So I think they are the huge. But with a uh, Timor coffee grinder, man. Uh, last time I checked, uh, I, I know a lot of viewers let me know that they usually start shipping out in July. They push back to October and November. So we don't know when they're going to get. I'm even Joe's website there. Oh, hold on a second here. If you put your order right now, uh, here we go. Pre-order only after June 25th. Ship it earliest is the end of July and mid August. Okay. So again, they're high demand. All right. So they are really high demand, you know, again, that comes to price wise, they're really budget friendly. Okay. So it can beat the price there. So, so now it's all about the waiting game. So let's see here. I think we are good. Are we good here guys? Hold on. I'm going to check one last time. Tristan, Tristan just bought a decent. Goodness, and coming today, very excited. That's good. Okay. I mean, that is uh, the decent. Yeah, I think you're gonna really enjoy. 
You gotta spend a lot of time though, okay? Make sure, planning on a lot of time on decent machine, okay? I feel like I'm just using a kind of a computer there. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna set, set them up. I guarantee you're gonna spend hours on it. But you, you're gonna have fun, okay? Okay, so Jesse hoping to see new high-end grinder coming soon. High-end conical, okay? We have random. They say money, money makes the world go round. Yes. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Okay. Okay. Random ask. Uh, what is your thoughts? Uh, uh, thoughts about blade grinder. Blade grinders are cheap, right? About ten bucks. Okay, ten bucks on any stores there. I don't know about glass. You know, here's the thing about though. I know a lot of people own the blade grinder, okay? Millions of people own the blade grinder. 15 bucks. All right. I mean, if you're a regular person out there, you know, get up in the morning, put some freshly roasted coffee beans into the blade grinder and spin it around, make yourself a nice cup of coffee. Sure. Why not, right? Uh, but that's it, all right? I bet you that blade grinder coffee with the fresh roast coffee is still better than the pre-grind coffee from store. I have to say, okay, that's still better than pre-grind coffee from the store. So because it's still fresh. But uh, if I were you, okay, spend, just get a nice hand grinder, okay? Just get yourself a nice hand grinder for like, you know, 50 bucks. That's a whole lot better than blade, for sure. All right. Okay, I think we are very good this morning. Very, very good. Okay, make sure to thumbs up on the video. Okay. And then I'm going to see you guys in about... Uh, we're going to do the morning section at the morning session at my uh, coffee desk. Okay, uh, sometime today. So let's, uh, let's play with... So this week, uh, coffee of the week is a say coffee. So at, at my coffee desk. So play, uh, play with the say this morning. And then uh, let's play. Uh, I'm going to try with the low RPM on 064 S. Okay. We're going to go low RPM. I'm going to test it. All right. It's going to give you a lot of answers. Because I know DF64 is capable. Has a strong enough motor to handle it. But I'm very curious about the 064S. So let's find out. Let's find out about this morning. Yeah, maybe uh, should be a lot of fun there. Anyway, uh, again, if you're first time joining us, uh, yeah. I mean, if this is type of video you like, if you your friend wants to see it, make sure to share this video, okay? My goal is, I mean, my goal is about, I, mean, I, I love to see about 100 people watching my live streaming. And that's kind of like my, you know, but I like the number, nice even hundred. You know, it's all depend on the topic, right? Some topics I have like you know a couple hundred people watch, but that's pretty rare. Here's the thing about the coffee YouTube's. I mean, come on, coffee is not the most exciting things to watch. Okay, so, but you know, I mean, I'm glad that 50 of you are watching here. I'm glad you guys are here. I'm gonna shout out to, hold on, he's a. Bob, is a Bob Ross? Oh, okay, hold on. Shout out to random vocals. Who is the Bob Ross of the coffee world? Bob Ross. I do enjoy Bob Ross. Goodness. I, I love his voice, calming voice there, doing the artwork. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, rest in peace. Okay. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, I think we are good here. Tristan mentioned, but thank you for your considerate response. Okay, next time, if you're in a hotel room, are you going to use iEnd? Okay, mock, you know what? I'm gonna, yeah, let's try that next time. It might work, okay. Mocha pot with a flip the iron, and then use that as, yeah, your mocha pot. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah, let's try, it'd be a fun trick there. You know, I do have irons here at home, but anyway, I'm gonna big shout out to Mr. Rainbow and Bob for the super. But I'm going to see you guys in about uh, sometime today. 